there's been a lot of foot stomping at the University of Oregon ever since Bev Smith enrolled four years ago. The native of Salmon Arm, British Columbia, has an impeccable list of statistics. 1980-81 Kodak All-American, a starter for the Canadian national team. Four-year starter for the University of Oregon and twice the Northwest League most valuable player. A career average of 19 points and over 12 rebounds a game. I really do feel that she is the most complete player of anyone that I've seen. I've seen some very good players and people that might be better in separate categories, but she's the one player at that size that really does everything. And above all, she's a winner. She will give her best in order to win. Well, I think it's, you know, taken a lot of hard work and a lot of, um, a lot of action and progress by our team to get people across the nation believing that we can and should be in the polls as a maybe a top 10 or top 15 team. One of the areas that you really can't put down on paper is uh, that as a peer to the other players. She has had an intensity in practice. She demands it of her peers and it's something that a coach often can't relate or relate to players as to how hard they have to work. But Bev has done that by, an exam or by setting an example for the rest of the players. I just try to hope that if I am double teamed or whatever um, that I can create a situation where someone is open and, and take advantage of that. And I think this year it has worked uh, very well with the fact that I can have the ball outside and, and bring the defense out there and, and then be able to make a play on the inside. She's had to do a lot of the work for us and it's changed the whole structure of our team but with her I think the team has really adjusted to this situation. Bev this year is very often looking for a pass rather than to shoot the ball whereas last year her role was probably more of a shooter. by two, Gary into the lane, up off the glass, we go. Rebound fought for and taken in there by Jenkins. Quickly up to Priscilla Gary, great lead pass. Gary has it working on Elliott, wheels and deals, spins off the glass, it's up and will it count? It does. Boy, oh, that was an NBA move there, folks. My goodness, let's watch it again. Look at this. Woo. You gotta like that. And then the foul by Elliott. She runs into her own player, Donovan. And right there, nothing but net for Priscilla Gary. And Donovan pushing and shoving inside, trying to get loose. She does. Oh, look at the leap by Priscilla Gary. My goodness, she got up on a 6 8 and Donovan and took the ball away. Quickly inside. Jennifer Jones pushing in. They'll try to work it into Donovan. They do. 
Donovan has it though, but up near the top of the field. Look at Gary get up and take it right away from the 6'8 senior. And now the quick pass into Barbara Gilmore. Her shot was no good. And Kansas State's All-American candidate.
before I graduate from Tennessee, I want to win the national title and become the best player that I could be. Those are the comments of University of Tennessee Lady Vol forward Mary Ostrowski. Ostrowski, the 6'2 sophomore, number 14, the leader of the Tennessee Lady Vols, a team that hopes to make it to the final four of women's college basketball for the fourth straight year and the fifth time in the last six seasons. Ostrowski is not the flashiest player in college basketball. Sometimes, in fact, her efforts go almost unnoticed. That is until you check the box scores. She's averaging over 13 points per contest. She leads the Tennessee team in rebounding, pulling in almost nine a game. Ostrowski leads the team in block shots. She also leads the team in steals. And from her pivot position, her passing skills are so outstanding, she's second on the team in assists, almost unheard of for a post player. Ostrowski is a model of consistency on both ends of the floor, whether it be playing defense or playing offense, where she's hitting almost 50% from the field and 70% at the free throw line. I'm, at the beginning of the year, Pat and I sat down and more or less sat down uh, my goals, um, what I should be doing for the team and for myself. And I'm a leader on this team, not vocally, but by um, for, for what I do on the, on the basketball court and we weren't doing well there for a while and for myself I felt like I should be able to do something to pull the team out and just trying a little harder giving the effort. That extra effort Ostrowski talked about apparently has paid off. At midseason, the Lady Vols found themselves with an 8-8 eight eight record, and they were struggling. But a late-season win streak led by Ostrowski has once again propelled Tennessee into the chase for the trip to Norfolk and the NCAA championships in March. It has been Ostrowski's consistent play at both ends of the floor that has been the key to Tennessee's late-season surge. As a sophomore, Ostrowski realizes she must be a leader on this Tennessee team if the Lady Vols should make that trip to Norfolk in March and be in the Final Four for the fourth straight year. I guess my role is um, I'm like the calmer on the team, if there's such a word. Um, everybody looks to me in a difficult situation to see what I'm doing, and more or less they follow my lead. Um, it's more if I'm working hard, they see that, and they start working hard. It's more like I, that I lead by example. There will be players in the country that score more points than Mario Strowski this season, and there will be players that grab more rebounds. But you'll be hard-pressed to find a more complete player any place than Mario Strowski. From her scoring, to her rebounding abilities, to her defense, to her passing, and to her leadership qualities. Mario Strowski, one of the top college basketball players in the country. The complete player, the team player, the leader of the University of Tennessee Lady Vols. Tanya Javi has blossomed this season into one of the most consistent scoring threats in college basketball. Her outside gunning has helped the Tennessee Lady Vols record their sixth straight 21 season. Javi, the 6'2 junior from Evergreen, Colorado, is averaging 19 points per contest and has been a key to Tennessee's offense all season long. While opposing defenses try and shut off Tennessee's inside game, Javi has been deadly with her outside shooting. She's knocking in 55% of her shots, mostly from long range, and has been hitting 90% from the free throw line. I am a scorer, you know, I'm looked to score on the team and everything, but I would like to think that I can do everything, you know, be an all-around player, and that's one of my goals, is I want to be looked at as an all-around player. Javi's job on the Tennessee team is to score. Her high water marks this year, 43 points against Stephen F. Austin and 34 points against Kentucky. 
Jave has scored in double figures more than 20 times so far this season and leading Tennessee to another 20-win season. Well, I think I'm a much better all-around player than I was when I first got to Tennessee and had to improve a lot on my defensive game because I, I just hadn't played any man-to-man -man and played all zone in high school. And uh, one area I think I had to work on was being more physical because the college game is a lot more physical than the high school game. And just the overall improvement, I would say, you know, just through the hard work and just the experience of uh, playing for two years. I think I need to, uh, you know, I have to score, I have to shoot well, and I have to play good defense and get on the, get on the boards, you know, since I'm a frontline player. Well, I think all of us are leaders since we're all, you know, we're becoming a veteran team. We've got five juniors on the team, and nobody's looking for someone else to do do the job we're all looking to do it ourselves and we're taking responsibility and it's real nice you know and yet you know we got Lee Henry to lead us and that helps a lot and I don't think there's any one leader we all try and lead each other. Tanya Javi uses her tremendous athletic ability to her advantage. A former All-American volleyball player, Javi is able to go inside and rebound and play defense because of her great jumping ability yet she can also play guard outside with her tremendous shooting range from 20 feet or more. Tanya Jave is not the most publicized player in the nation, but she is one of the better ones around. Her scoring, game in and game out, is a key part of Tennessee's success as the Lady Vols hope to make it back to the Final Four in women's basketball for the sixth time in seven years. It's not too often you can replace one All-American with another All-American, but the Oregon women's basketball team had that luxury this season. Bev Smith rewrote almost all of the Oregon records before departing last season. This year, fellow Canadian Allison Lang is rewriting them all over again. Allison, for our team right now, is, uh, has really taken over where Bev left off. She has really been a leader. Uh, both on the floor and off the floor. She's maybe a non-vocal leader a lot of times, but she does lead by example. You feel that when you're out on the court now, you have to take charge a little bit more. Last year, when the team was in a tough situation, it was Bev that would get the ball. Now, this year, is it any different? I think so. People are looking to me to put the ball in the hoop when the game is tight. I wish we wouldn't have to do that, because <laughs> you want to depend on all five players to play, do it. Lang's stats this season are eye-popping. She averages 24 points and 11 rebounds a game while shooting 62% from the floor. The opposition knows what she's going to do. They just can't do anything about it. What's it like when you're inside and you're triple teamed and you're getting bumped and beat up on every play? I'm used to it. I don't mind it. It's frustrating to have something in your face all the time, but you just have to keep moving around to get open. Throw in the fact that Lang is also the Ducks' assist leader with 87, and you can see she does everything but run the scoreboard. But let's be honest, there is one thing Allison has a tough time handling, the limelight. I really don't like it that much. I hate cameras. <laughs> so while she might not be ready for a career in Hollywood yet, Oregon forward Allison Lang is definitely ready for any challenge she might come across on the basketball court. What would you say is her strongest characteristic? What does she do best out on the court? Um, I think give the team the confidence um, in order to win games and she does that basically knowing that if she's anywhere near the ball they can just throw it in her direction and she's going to come down with it. I think that confidence alone, um, I mean that confidence that she can give to the other players takes them out of the pressure situations and she can, she can go up court or go get the ball for the guards or whatever she needs to do. Just your thoughts on the talent around the country and who you think are maybe the best players you've gone against in your career? The best players I've gone against I think are the McGee's. Uh, Kim Hampton's really good from Arizona and uh, Ann Donovan. She's a challenge because she's six inches taller than myself. Um, the players are getting a lot better nowadays I think because they're playing with guys a lot which they didn't used to, and I think the caliber... I would say she's by far uh, the top player in the Pacific Northwest. I think that she really ranks with any of your top players in the nation. Joy 
Miss Walker, as she relates to this particular basketball team, is, well, she is the key. She's the cog. She's what makes it go. This young lady is, uh, is really and truly a, a complete all-around basketball player. She's the leader. She's the one that the kids look to. Uh, not to carry the whole load either. I think she does an outstanding job of pulling the best from her teammates out. Uh, she's a team player. Coach Gunner is probably the best thing that could have happened to me. We established a one-on-one -on -one relationship, and I can go to her with anything, and I just feel so confident just being around her. Her and um, Coach Romero have definitely made a turnaround of this team. But first of all, there's respect. Coach Gunner can enter a room, and when it's time to get time to business, everything, all the play things will cease. Um, She's a motivator, she makes you work hard, but she, she wants you to believe that you can be the best that you possibly can. My little brother was probably my first teacher. Um, me and him used to go out and play, and I, I just had a, a raw talent for the game, and I always played with the guys. But he just instilled a lot of confidence uh, inside of me, and, Along playing with the guys, it's, I'm not fearful. I believe I can just go out there and play and have a good game. And that helps my game also when playing with the ladies because with the guys, it's like, well, if I can play that well against them, I'm not really fearful of my opponents as far as, as, far as my season goes.
Temple University Lady Owls are so excited over their 6'2 center, Marilyn Stevens. A senior born and raised in Philadelphia, Marilyn is being recognized by players and coaches across the country. After all, she is the only player in the nation to be ranked in the top 15 in both scoring and rebounding. Last season, Marilyn was named Big Five MVP and Atlantic 10 Conference Player of the Year and this year is shooting for a fourth consecutive berth to the all-women's Big Five team. Going into the game against West Virginia, Maryland needed only three points to become the first player in Temple history to score 2,000 career points. Less than a minute into the game, Marilyn scored her first two, hitting a jump shot from the middle of the lane. A minute later, Stevens, going over two opponents from behind the backboard, sank a basket to become a member of an elite group of women basketball players to score 2,000 career points. Not only a leader on the court, Marilyn is respected and admired off the court as well. When head coach Linda McDonald came to Temple four years ago, her main objective was to build a successful program. The character of Marilyn Stevens has helped to achieve that goal. 18 games into the 1983-84 season, Marilyn leads the Lady Owls with 245 rebounds. In her junior year, Marilyn became Temple's all-time leading rebounder. Marilyn is the model for the Temple Lady Owls. Her outstanding qualities of dedication, determination, and desire have been her formula for success. Her unselfish enthusiasm for the game has made playing basketball at Temple an experience of a lifetime. Marilyn Stevens is making the Lady Owls so excited. <laughs> 